Oh, here we go. Hi, how are you on this rainy day? It's raining in Deer Park, so not sure what it's doing where you are. But funny story, this is our book for today, Olivia and the Missing Toy. I read this book already to you on a video. And then, like a doofus, I deleted the video before I saved it. So everyone makes mistakes, right? Right, Nana. So if you make a mistake and forget to do something, just remember Olivia and the Missing Toy. I had to read it twice. Also, last night I made tacos for dinner and I burned the taco shells because I left them in the oven too long. I don't know, just doing all kinds of crazy stuff right now. But this is called Olivia and the Missing Toy. I don't know if you've read any of the other Olivia books. It's about a little pig named Olivia. One day, Olivia was riding a camel in Egypt. When her mother woke her up, time to get up, sweetie pie. Remember, you have soccer today. Olivia's uniform comes in a really unattractive green. I think that green's just fine. Mommy, can you make me a red soccer shirt like this one, please? But then you'll look different from everyone else on the team, explained her mother. That's the point, said Olivia. When Olivia came home from practice, her mother was working on the shirt. Is it done yet? She asked. Not yet, said her mother. Olivia waited and waited and waited until she was just too exhausted to wait any longer. So she went out to play with the cat. Look, darling, it's all done said Olivia's mother. But something was missing. Wait a minute. Wait a second, said Olivia. Where's my toy? Now you look back on the page before when her mother comes in, you see her toy on the window? Yep, there's her toy right on the window, by the window. And then the next page, it's gone. Oh no. Where's my toy? It was right there on the bed. I just put it there. I remember exactly. That's my best toy. I need it now. Somebody took my best toy. She's not happy. Olivia looked over everywhere. Under the rug? Under the sofa? Under the cat? She asked her little brother Ian, what did you do with my toy? She's not being very nice, is she? No way. She asked her baby brother William, what did you do with my toy? Whooshy gaga! He's a baby. That night, and it was a dark and stormy night, Olivia was practicing her piano when she heard an awful sound. The sound got louder and louder. It was horrible, and it was coming from behind the door. So of course, Olivia went inside. And that's when she saw it. <gasps> the dog. He had chewed her toy to bits. Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, it was Perry, cried Olivia. He took my best toy and chewed it to bits, and now it's wrecked. I'm 
sorry, sweetie pie, said her mother, but doggies like to chew, and he didn't know it was your toy. Don't worry, said Olivia's father. Tomorrow, we'll go get you the very best toy in the whole world. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you more than anyone. Still, it was Olivia's best toy. So she fixed it, adding an extra bow for beauty. All better. Only books about cats tonight, Mommy, said Olivia. I think she's mad at the dog still, right? Still mad at the dog? But even Olivia couldn't stay mad forever. So even though she was mad at the dog, she still let him sleep with her that night because she fixed her best toy all up and it was even better than it was before. Now, do you think her daddy still took her out to the store to get another toy? I guess we're not going to know. But just another reminder, just like my deleting the video and burning the taco shells, sometimes you can just fix things. Sometimes you just have to do them again. I love you. Bye.